Brand new twist in the continuing saga of just who will operate the historic Sunset Lounge. Tonight, the second runner up who was just awarded the bid three weeks ago is also now disqualified for sending emails to the mayor and a commissioner. Investigative reporter Terry Parker has been bringing you exclusive updates to this story for weeks and is here to break down the very latest. Terry. Right, the top two firms chosen to run the historic Black Jazz Club are out. And the city has to start all over again to find an operator for its multi-million dollar project. According to an August 3rd letter from the city's procurement director, Mad Room Hospitality violated the terms of the RFP by contacting the mayor and the commissioner via email before the contract was executed. This new letter to Mad Room says those emails from Mad Room were a mere courtesy contact and not an attempt to influence the selection. Nevertheless, such contact is a technical violation of the rules and code. Mad Room's owner sent the emails to the mayor and the commissioner after they lost the initial bid to run the lounge in June. The winner was Vita Lounge LLC, a local black run company. But Mayor Keith James later asked the city attorney if Vita should be disqualified for allegedly lobbying people on Facebook to support their selection and doing an interview on WPBF 25 News. A few days later, that's exactly what happened. The city disqualified Vita, had another meeting, and this time, chose James Choice Mad Room. That's when Vita sued the city and their attorney obtained the emails from Mad Room to James and Commissioner Joe Peduzzi, thanking them for their support, which Vita's attorney pointed out was also a violation. Seems the city had no choice but to agree and now Mad Room is officially out. The city staff had to come up with a nationwide marketing plan to find a new operator of the Sunset Lounge. They presented that at the meeting, but James strongly leaned towards selecting Mad Room because he said starting from scratch would take too long and cost too much. But it looks like that's what's going to happen. Vita Lounge's lawyer tells me tonight that by improperly disqualifying Vita, he says the city will have to pay $30,000 a month in operating costs until someone else is chosen. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.